Hey friends, this is the second part to my fusion method. We are diving deep into learning your muscle systems in order to get the perfect barely there makeup application for mature skin. If you didn't watch part one, go back and watch that before you watch this. But also, fair warning, the next slide, we are going to dive into the muscles and the filter is a little bit wild. If you have followed me for a while, then you know I talk about the sphincter muscle on your face all the time, also known as a butthole muscle. Same thing, this muscle is the same around your eye and your mouth as it is around your sphincter. And because of that, it has that circular, tight, closing motion. In correlation of having very delicate skin, it's impossible for your concealer not to be creasing unless you might be 18, 19, 20. But if you are, I'm gonna say mid 30s, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but I get the DMs, I'm talking to the women who are struggling with this just as much as women 40 and older. So I'm gonna say mid 30s is when a lot of women start to notice that they cannot tolerate those heavy products. I want you to know it's not you. It's the anatomy and the facial structure that we've all been blessed with. So it's not you, it's the structure. But if you understand your structure and you understand what products to use in it, you can get under eyes that will not crease and you can still cover all the darkness, all the acne, all the things you wanna cover. I'm gonna teach you how to do it and we're going to do it today. So let's take this filter off and get started. I have been in the beauty industry now for 10 plus years. And in my experience, I have not come across another product that works with my fusion method better than the Demi Color. I've tried a lot of products and I try them as I get them suggested from you guys as well. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty and the power of the product Demi Color wins for me every single time. And it is a product that you are going to want some help with. You're going to want a color consultation. I do that for free. That link is linked below. It's also in my profile. So if you subscribe or you just hit that, it's totally free and I will help you pick the right colors for you. But I'm going to talk today about how to apply it. Really quite simple and it does take a little bit of a switch in your brain once you get it. You've gotta give a little trial and error, but the application of it is actually really quite simple. So what I want you to do is look at your under eyes and we're all going to have different varying um, levels of excess darkness. If mine don't relate to you, that's fine. I have lots of clients that I have posted on my TikTok channel, on my Instagram channel, that have way darker under eyes than I do, and it still works for them. So if you need to see it in action on somebody else's face, go to one of those channels and check it out. But I do want you to know the application is the same. You might use three colors instead of two colors, but the application is the same, okay? So let's just get that out of the way. Let's just trust me, trust the process. So what I want you to look at is find the darkest point of your under eyes first. So for me, the darkest point is right here and right here. Those two are about the same in excess color, in excess darkness. And if it's dark, it's typically got some sort of blue. And I wanna be using some sort of orange in order to complement that and filter it away. So to start with, on this area right here, I'm going to use O1 in order to start getting rid of that. And the, that's why this Demi Color is so unique and so different because when you're looking at other color correction systems, and I'm gonna call them color correction and Demi Color color editing, when you're looking at other color correction systems, what I find to be lacking is the fact that they don't have enough colors. They don't have enough, enough pigment of different colors in order for all women to achieve this look. So you just have to happen to be the perfect match for the pink or the coral that they carry in their compact. These have such an array that for sure, I can make sure anybody from the lightest skin to the darkest skin can be color filtered with this color editing system. I'm going to just lightly use my blur brush to go on to the darkest point and get rid of that. And I'm gonna do it on the other eye as well. 
Once I have that gone, I'm going to go to the inner corner of my eye to get rid of that dark area. So after I wash off my brush, I'm going to look down at the next level. And I know that this has a little bit more green into it. So I want to use something with an OR, which is an orange red, and I'm going to start filtering that away. But again, the key is just staying targeted to the area that has that color. I'm going to go up in saturation to the O3 and just use that to kind of filter away a few little spots that are a little bit more enhanced from my bronzer application that I did in part one of the fusion method because sometimes those can get enhanced with other tones of like color with the bronzers or contours but I'm going to just be a little strategic and kind of filter away a few of those spots so that I get super balanced skin and have it stay looking as like glowy and balanced as possible and I can use that O3 to get a little bit of heaviness of discoloration that happens for a lot of us around our under eyes it's always a little dark here so you'll see a lot of women talk about using contour and placing it right here to get a lift, but that is a super heavy area for it to crease. I'm sure it is on you as well, so it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for us if you're in your 40s. So I wanna use a little bit of color editing right there and get rid of that so that I get that lift naturally, not having a heavy opacity product in that area. One thing I do like to do though is add a little bit more shadow around my eyes. Um, you can see I have a little bit of pigment in there and I'm gonna work with that and play with that by adding a little bit of my contour just right in that area to just enhance that and just make it look a little bit more, I don't know, smoky, intentional, um, a little bit more done up. Okay, I do want to brighten this a little bit right here. I don't know if this shows well on camera, but I'm a little bit yellow or sullen or sallow or I don't know what the, those words that, they just, yeah, it just looks a little bit yellow. So I want to use a little bit of a violet. I'm going to use VR1, and I'm going to just put the smallest amount right here. And if you watch, this is what's going to bring my whole under eye to being like beautiful baby skin. Like it looks like I have under eyes of a 20 year old. Everything's filtered and edited, but these are under eyes of a woman in her 40s. Because these products are sh so sheer and so light and only about 10% opacity, they literally are not going to move. They're not going to crease. I don't really need to add any type of powder. I've very rarely had any of my clients that need to, but if you do, I can talk with you about what would be a better option. But because it's so light and so sheer, it really is going to not need that excess layer of products. See, look how pretty that is. I'm going to use the same method of application to do a few more things on my face using just the Demi colors in the areas of high movement because I don't want to have added texture. I get a little bit of, I, I, I know rosacea is typically right here on your cheeks, but I feel like the redness that I get on my chin would also kind of be considered rosacea. Um, but this tone of it is very, very much like an orchid, very much like a purpley red sort of color. So I am going to use the O3 in order to filter this away because that purpley blue tone is going to be very much a complement by using something in that orange pigmented family. So I'm going to use that just right on that area of redness and you can see how it just balances that out and gets rid of it. Whoop, I dropped my brush. Same thing is going to happen on my upper lip. It's the same tone and same coloring. And I wanna get rid of the discoloration so that I can have a more balanced face. Just looks like I have really pretty, balanced, beautiful, mature skin. This type of application will knock 10 years off of your look, 10 years off of your face. I will use the same method and just kind of go through my face 
and take care of little areas that I just want to filter away. And the less, the more you look at the areas that are the biggest distractions, the funnier it is because if you delete those, it's like other things just kind of go away on their own and they're not as big of a burden or something that was bugging you as much when you can get rid of little things all along the way. So it's really more about the art of moving around your face and deleting, filtering away areas of distraction once you're to this point and it just becomes the most barely there application. It's completely undetectable, especially in person. So it's almost like you went with the beautiful Facetune filter on yourself in real life because most people are going to be guessing like, does she just have gorgeous skin or does she actually have makeup on? And to me, that's the ultimate compliment. If you are wanting to get a full face Fusion Method custom compact like this, that is what I do. I'm a color consultant to help you create a makeup system that will achieve the undetectable look for any woman over 40, any woman in her 40s and older. So if you are that and you're ready for this, the free consultation is in my description. It's also in my bio and please hit subscribe. I'm going to be posting more education and more videos on this weekly. Thanks for joining me and I hope I see you guys again next time. Bye.